Hello and welcome back to Shabby Darts. In this video, I'm going to be going over one of the most basic practice games we can play on a dartboard. It's called Round the Clock. The basic way of playing Round the Clock is very simple. The first dart you throw, you aim at number one. The second dart you throw, you aim at number two. And the third dart you throw, you get the picture. You're just working around the numbers. Now, there's different ways of playing this game, but the most simple way of playing for a beginner is to just aim for the whole segment. You're aiming for either the double, the single, the treble, or the inner single. It doesn't matter. As long as it's in that same number, it's fine. As a beginner, you aim for everything. When you move up to a little bit better, you play singles round the clock. So you're aiming for either the outer single or the inner single. If you hit the treble or the double, it doesn't count. You still have to hit that block. When you get even better, you can play doubles around the clock. The doubles ring around the outside is the only place you can hit. If you hit on the inside of the number, you don't move on. Once you've done that, you can try triples exactly the same way. You can even try a different way of playing the game, which involves once you've hit, when you aim for number one, you can aim for the double one, which actually equals two. That means instead of aiming for two next, you aim for three. When you aim for number three, if you hit the treble three, it equals nine. So instead of going to four, you would go directly to 10 because you've already hit the number nine. That's a bit confusing for a beginner to get your head around. Once you work your way around a board, you will understand it. I'm going to have a game of singles round the clock now. And just so you can see my score, I will post it up on here as well. So you'll see it in a second. So the rules for this game are very simple. You aim at each number in turn and you can't move on until you've hit that number. Finishing with the 25 and the ball. Your score is the amount of darts it takes you to complete it from 1 to 20 and the 25 and ball. Here's my attempt. Well, there you have it. That's my distinctly shabby attempt at round the clock singles. If you think you can do better, and I know you can, have a go, take a video of yourself doing it, uh, post it up on Twitter using the hashtag shabby darts. We're looking for round the clock singles using the 25 and the ball to finish. Post it up, hashtag shabby darts, tag me in it, and we'll see who can do it in the fewest darts. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe on YouTube and please go and like all the other social media channels so we can get as many people involved as possible. Thanks for watching. See you next time.